Kido. Do you think it's right Vile Diana Mearis will call for the rape case? Vile Diana Ame? She's the one who arrested him? Yes. You mean she's still playing those games? Ude mnichizi ya manini? Yeah, do buy ya kuwa ukona de mze kukuliko, always in control. Mtuka ya saa kabahanye ya saa hii, haezi ambia de miyake, kaa hapa chini, wacha upuzi. This is a nonsense case. Come on! Why would you do that to somebody and you know it's a lie? She's lying. Abby's lying. Be lying or we saw the lie. Will you pose I'm on your side? It's a good police, I'm on your side, nigga. I'm on your side, my nigga. SKM Buzz. 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 Na tuko hapa kwa show ya Andrew Kibe and we have the legends here, the good comedians. The legends. The kings. Kings. Yes, sir. One of the best. Yes. Not one. Best of the best. Best of the best. Mujo nilisiki ya legend, Sabato Sabato. You know Sabato Sabato? Sabato is a home. What the hell? Sabato is like, now we can't call you a legend kwa sabu mifanya mziki kutoka kitambo. And that really makes what inspired him to come up with this show? Andrew Kibe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, this way, this way. <laughs> Kindly back to you, Kibe. Tell us what inspired you to come up with this. Uh, well, Jesus, 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 I inspired you. 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 I Jesus. The direction okay. we are taking, uh, we, we've already started with the uh, street kitchen. You yeah. already mentioned this is your first show. Mm -hmm. To ambie what is your, uh, your unelekea wapini, stand up, stand up. Alafu mepul, uh, tuko na wakimani, tuko na shiti, tuko... Kipeza komedia. Yes. Ni mjibia tuyo moja kabla enda yapo. Almekuwa na talent ambo wajui. Kwa sababu kuna watu pia, tumeshi kujua mbara mbamba ni mbaji. Wangapu alijua ni mchawi. Hakuna mtu alijua ni night runner Ni talent ambozo Hakuna juzi ya mtule ya deki Mbara mbara Sazi unajua na liaje Serekari tafadhali Mbuke niko na watoto Ama upendi this way Sasa ulikuwa na suwali Kuna suwali muhimu maulizo The direction ni gani tunatake Tumeanza stand up hapa leo Mesema next ni Eric Dolet Like what is your vision and motive of this show The vision is to to bring stand up to Africa. We have a lot of stand up comedians, but I think one of opportunity to give us give the, the raw version of what stand up really is. And I think this is where it starts. So today has is, is a big night for me. We start tonight. So I this me and this team and we shall keep growing this team with like minded individuals to know how far we can go. But our next stop, April second we shall be in Eldoret. Ataka to Tabigia Kwa stadia, tuta ipigia. But April 2nd to Koyodoret. And then after that, we shall go to Kitale. After Kitale, Kisum City. Kisum City. Yes. Mbasa City. So we are just refining our craft. Ata West Pokot pia. By the way, kuna watu. Enda upeleke nyanyako. Maybe, Andrew Kibe, do you have plans of introducing some other comedians like the likes of Nasra Tumbili? Tumbili is a wanka, so I'm not introducing him. But... I mean, whoever, whoever is, in, is in our spirit, spirit are uh, being free, uh, without no holds barred. So that's the, that's the idea of the group, and that's why I called all these people, from Rapture to Wakimani, Shiti, uh, Nikki Bigfish. I find these guys to be free spirits, just like me. So that's what we're looking for. You just said you didn't expect to see a lot of people here. Maybe all expectations are positive. We didn't expect what to 30. I saw you going to do it with a bit, Niaja. Nimesema mama kwa stage nikambao na kasema Mungu wangu. Jesus. But you know the Jesus gives us hardons every morning. So it's not a big deal. Yes, but yes it has been a very successful night. Yes. And maybe for my fans wako because I know they are really expecting to see more of this. Ah, na leo isho imekuwa live. Is it going to be like uh, kuna mahali utaenda ku upload other these ama venye imekuwa live ni hip hop? 
Um, the idea is to cut it up and use it for purposes of marketing. Yeah, because some of these uh, things that we talked about today were very fresh. So if you can cut that up and put it out there and tell people this is a new thing that we're doing, this is what we're doing. Uh, this this is where of a new era. This is the beginning of a new era. So it's, yeah. high, it's high time to toy mediocre kwa, to, to malize mediocrity kwa industry. Unajua mediocrity imekuwa juu sana. And it has reached a point that watu wanaingilia industry yetu wanasema am grow, amfanye nini, amwendi wapi. Na for the longest time tulikuwa tunangojea maybe kuna sponsors watatokea na nini. Unaona? But ni vizuri mtu akiwa akitaka ku sponsor akitaka kufanya nini, but before mtu wa sponsor it's good tunajaribu tu kuonesha it's good mtu aendelee. Unaona kama nyinyi sasa for example mmekuja tu hapa mme by the santeni sana. Unajua walikuwa nasema online is the future. It's not the future ndio iko sasa hizi. Unaona? So hata usipopata sponsor usipopata nini bado utakuja ufanye nini? Ufanye interview. So hiyo ndio notion ambayo tunataka kuweka kwa akili ya watu kwa sababu kuna wasanii wengine wengi bado ambao wanajiuliza mtaanza aje kitu e, nitangojea nani wakati mtu ambao unangojea sometimes pia ana issue na wewe anaona unaweza fanya kitu lakini hakuji kukusaidia so tunataka tu kuonesha watu unaweza fanya kivi yako dunia sasa hizi imefika mahali ya uhitaji mtu atoke huko hakuji aku akupush okay, you can do it on your own si mnaona nyinyi kama nyinyi online mmebadilishia mainstream kimichezo mchezo tu mm. eh yeah, hizi news zote tunapata online through the tv na muona silver kido yuko hapa naona glad online media na wengine wengi so hiyo ndio spirit unaona amejaona mainstream hapa lakini habari itaenda town si ndio habari itaenda town mbaya, mbaya. na bado yeah. town zingine bado tutaenda mm. ndio tumeanza tukifanya hapa tunaifanya locally yeah. tukifanya nigeria tunaifanya international yeah. Basically, because for the longest time to make a kind of stereotype, kind of stand up comedy. Mm -hmm. And if you've seen today, you know what we comedian, Suko Inje, person like DJ CT, Leona Court, you listen to the other Lazima lazima to grow. Yeah, so Ndio maana tumeileta huko so tukasema <laughs> watu waone side nyingine. Yeah, so leo leo basically tumeweza tu kuona hiyo design side ya ujama na side ya huu si ati ku prank kwa sake la time and there are so many other people out here wenye tunajua wenye we know we know them from other side we are calling upon them. We are not only saying at not unless unaanza you can be anywhere. Si bro umetupata hiyo chance na ndio this is what pia tume come to hapo support pia. So popote penye huko come na Kenya uko nayo tusonge. Mm. And also, also, also in terms of charges, kuna venye alitoa posta akasema charges ndio hizi. Unajua Kiba alinipigia tu just one call akaniambia Nick, would you like to be part of this? Nikasema why not? Me I'm good. In terms of comedy kwa sababu pia mimi nimeshaanza kufanya comedy out there. I've been building myself in terms of stand up comedy. Kenya wanijua kama uh, prankster na pia ile left right left right chill show but now uh, Kibio katali niuliza akaniambia that uh, we are doing this show nikiwa na poster na shindua eh hey, hii charge sana nataweza nimeshanga kuona watu close to 1000 people uh, to this place uh, no comedy show yenye uh, mekuwa headlined na Kenyans iko to this stature nobody hakuna show yote imefanyika so i'm really grateful na pia mimi mwenyewe niko humble zaidi kukuwa part of this movement uh, and apparently venye kibia amesema we are moving now from city to city second is uh, eldoret third is kitale so we are moving from city to city then after hapo dubai umesema no, no doha kata doha yeah, then doha, kata. after hapo pia kibia amesema atatunulia kila mtu s560 ama yani kwa kitu mzuri kitu big fish anasema ama ndugu yangu kibe ama paul wa kimani ni kwamba hii ni revolution na revolution ni kujangi rahisi eh, si kila mtu anazaliwa mwana harakati tunahitaji mwana harakati na kizungu activists si kila mtu ni activist sasa hii ni revolution ya kuonesha kwa hii mchezo inaweza enda bila maget keepers hii mchezo inaweza enda bila mkono ya mtu fulani mm -hmm. tunaweza ifanya na youth mwingine yoyote huko nje anaweza amka leo naeke posters naeke vitu na wakenya watamsupport one thing napenda na wakenya unajua get keepers wanatuonesha we wakenya wako na sisi but ni uongo wakenya wako na sisi hata ndugu yetu akiwa kule US 
alikuwa anatupa cheche <laughs> anatupa cheche na wakenya walisimama naye kabisa mpaka yeah, yeah, yeah. maget keepers youtube yake yeah. lakini alirudi na nyingine na baada naendelea so hii ni revolution kwa comedy industry it's, a, it's the beginning of a new era there we go na bado, na bado. tunataka kuona talent zingine nyingi wewe ambao uko kapenguria wewe ambao uko bura wewe ambao uko mwatate wewe ambao uko murmalanga lego wewe ambao uko mumia spale garbatula wewe ambao uko garbatula wewe ambao uko isiolo hii ni wakati wako kuna talent nyingi sana Okay, lakini wasee wananijua kama raw and uncut unaona sure. show zangu zote ziko 25 plus so parental guidance ni kwa mzazi mwenye anaacha mtu mwenye ako below 25 kukamkwa show yangu yeye anafanya but mimi nafanya raw and raw, raw, raw comedy basically style yangu kama tu vile kibi amesema <coughs> ama free spirit nafanya kitu logical humor na autobiographical humor so kama mimi naita guaraya so kitu yote na happen kwa raya ndaiongea iwe sexual political social anything because stand up is a is a form of expression uh, kwa watu wengi sana no, no, especially my entertainers wale the, the other styles of comedy wako poa wanafanya stand up because and then bado pia ni a very powerful form of expression to the society because see ni social leaders eh, whatever tunasema whatever wewe anasema whatever wewe anasema ita 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 create trend so uh, tunataka create trend ya being raw because to your minimum zali wana Nairobi na niliambua anything in a happen lazima niongee anyone any, any kid mwenye mzali wana Nairobi akona hiyo characteristic ataongea anything yenye iko iko mbele yake so mimi na kuga tu hivyo anything can joke about sex i can joke about everything you know mm. ma comedy yangu inakunga hivyo kutoka way back kutoka kitambo so inakuga strictly 25 years and above strictly 25 years and above kama wewe ni mzazi tafadhali Eh 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 kuna makomedian wale wanafanya comedy ya watu watoto wadogo so kama wewe ni mzazi jua kuchagulia mtoto wako eh eh but basically kuna kuna ages hata kwa tv kuna 14 kuna 16 kuna 18 na zote zinakwangana age so wale watu wananipenda wanajua vile muongea na wale watu wenye wameanza kunijua itabidi wamezoea jua muaga naongea tu hivyo Asante. Yeye ndio baya ya kuwa uko na dem mzee kuliko always in control. Mtu kama saka bahanye saa hii, haezi ambia dem yake kaa hapa chini wacha upuzi. This is a nonsense case. Come on. Why would you do that to somebody and you know it's a lie? She's lying. Allah, are you lying? She be lying or oh, we saw the lie. Really pose I'm on your side. Sitakuja polisi kukutoa lakini I'm on your side nigga. <laughs> I'm on your side my nigga. Uh, you did an interview with Eva. Mm. What walikuwa na complain sana why you did with her and hujafanya uh, na Trevor pale kwa Kenya online game. Mbona uko support boy chat? Trevor Trevor kunipa. Mimi mimi sina feelings. Also it means that Munga if Mimi nasema Trevor alikuwa anilipa yako nilipa. So why would I give an interview for free? Do I look stupid? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying Trevor Akunili. <laughs> no 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 but I uh, Trevor didn't ask for an interview. But Mungaiv asked for an interview. You've never asked for an interview, you know that. No no you didn't ask me for an interview. The last time we talked we were talking about other things. Trudy, Trudy, Trudy. You, you didn't ask me for an interview. None of you motherfuckers have asked me for an interview. I would have given it to you when Eve came and she asked for an interview. I was like, "Hey, 
I'm not going to do this with Wakimani podcast. Wakimani podcast, when am I going? On Friday? Yeah, on Friday. Yeah. Wakimani podcast. She's the only one with Unitix. She's the only one with Unitix and Karo Mbaya, Karo Black. Z. Why? It's a bendy vibe. Okay, Jana. Aji? Okay, Jana, you find that you have Unitix, Aja. Actually, in your interview with Munga Eva, the words that were said, Pale and Eve said that she, she noticed Trevor's immaturity a long time ago. Now people were like, uh, you guys I'm were not, too I'm, much. I'm not, I'm not discussing those two small human beings. Can you see my age? Simon of our to discuss, she has a Tesla. We need discuss Trevor and Munga Eva. Who are those people? Come on, Hi. be serious. Why did you choose all these? Major comedians are in Kenya, but you decided to work with Nick, you can work with Nashiti, how are you? I actually chose to work with people I have a personal relationship with. Okay? So I interviewed him, I've been with him for a, a, a minute. Me and him have been planning the longest time. And when I met him, I was like, hey, Mr. Kibe. Yeah, I'm going to Kibe. Really? Yeah. Imagine that. I'm a peer to Kichangi. Where are you separate? Yeah, so I, 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 I chose the people that I have a, a personal relationship with. And I know people who are going to go all out when it comes to stand-up comedy. So that's what's up. Now, Pia, to kichangia your issue, the main reason to why Pia tunafanya hii kitu ni kuvile tumesema. Ni kuonesha, ni kuonesha wasani wengine huko inje that hakuna point unafaa ku pigwa na depression ama unafaa kwa sababu umefungiwa. Unaona? Ati kwa sababu eh, maybe kuna watu wataki kupatia biashara, maybe yani sisi tunaenda nayo hivyo vile iko. Hakuna point mtu anafaa kujiua ama ku give up kwa sababu umefungiwa. So eh, kitu kubwa pia ni tuna ni apart from kufanya kama comedy tunafundisha pia eh, maupcoming mwingine. Okay. Yeah. okay and, and also uh, 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 the last one. Uh, in terms of dating, your story and Yekiba me work address here. My personal experience, let's advise what to. I'm a special one, Aume. Don't date below 30. Get money first, then start getting these bitches. Yeah. 100%. I do. Yeah. Uh, I do. But it makes a lot of sense. It really makes a lot of sense yeah, that why should you date somebody? You know, if you're dating somebody, you are taking a responsibility. As a wende huyu uko kuivi una parata 5k ma 10k mahali. Dem yako ndo huyu pia kona expense yake. Utaweza nayo kweli? Aje. Awezi. So honestly speaking, ngana si at usi date mtu mwenye yako above your age. Ni just don't date if you don't have fucking job. Apo kwa above age na kana nimeguzwa. Aya, ebuli za swali yako ya mwisho tumalization. Um, I'm, I'm a citizen of the world. When you're a journalist, you can travel anywhere. Okay. You guys don't know that, you know that. I'm a journalist who is respected. I'm a journalist who is respected. So you guys need to travel. So, um, I am here for now. I don't know what the future holds, but I am very optimistic. Okay? And uh, this is the next move for me. The Africa is still hot. We are relaunching Africa in the next two months. We are creating a, a better and a bigger platform. So, you'll see that happening. And you'll see a lot of the things that I'm doing. So, uh, just chill. Take it easy. Ah, ah, to my Maliza interview. Maybe why the Mimi nilisema ile siku nakuja. Na watu wenyewe wanasema Ah ah, wacha kuuliza. Si nilisema ile siku nakuja? Nilisema. Uliniona hiyo siku nilisema nakuja? Ba sasa story gani unaniuliza? Why are you asking me silly questions Trudy? God damn. I go where I want and I come back when I want to come. God damn it. I'm Kibe just to ask. I don't want to hear questions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, but, but, but.